Hi all, in today's video we will talk about nitrox or enriched air nitrox. Hi, I'm Rafael and I'm a scuba diving instructor and in this channel I try to share all things underwater. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Okay, what is nitrox? But before we talk about nitrox, we need to talk about the gas we normally breathe underwater. That is air. Um, air, as we know, has 21% of oxygen and 79% of nitrogen. But when we talk about nitrox, we are talking about anything that has more than 21% of oxygen. For recreational level, we are looking at something between 22 to 40 percent. And when we talk about technical level, we are looking at anything basically, even over 40 percent, that's going to be even 100 percent or pure O2. Uh, but this is for recreational, just remember, is between 22 and 40 percent. The most common blends of uh, nitrox will be nitrox 32 that has 32 percent of oxygen and nitrox 36 that has 36 percent of oxygen but why should i dive nitrox so the first thing is because we are diving with more oxygen we are intaking less nitrogen because we are intaking less nitrogen we can have longer dives and longer bottom time, so we can stay longer at certain depth. And because we are again intaking less nitrogen, we can have shorter surface intervals if we compare to air. So in terms of the, remember, on, on your open water, we talk about the no decompression limits or NDL. And what is the NDL? is the maximum time you can spend underwater at certain depth. If you think about air, if you dive 50 meters, 96 minutes, 80, min 80 meters, 63 minutes, 20 meters, 49, and 30 meters, 17 minutes. Uh, you may say, well, I will never reach uh, 96 minutes at 50 meters with one tank. So what is the point of nitrox? But I'm pretty sure you can easily reach 17 minutes at 30 minutes, at 30 meters in air. But when we look at nitrox, 15 meters for nitrox 36 will be 490 minutes. You can stay at that depth. But if you look at 30 meters, it's going to be 37 minutes. And it's quite common you do a half an hour uh, dive at 30 meters. In air, you cannot. You need to go to um, nitrox. And nitrox 36 will give you 37 minutes. So it allows you to stay longer at certain depth because we are intaking less nitrogen. And when can I use nitrox? So basically, anytime you want. Doesn't matter if the, the weather is cloudy, sun, whatever, you can use any time you want. You have a cylinder, you can fill up with nitrox, and then you can use at any time. But it's most beneficial on multiple day dives. So let's say you have a dive trip that's going to be five days diving, three dives a day, is where you're going to uh, get the most beneficial of nitrox. The reason is you are intake less nitrogen. Intake less nitrogen is less surface uh, interval, is more dive, a uh, more time diving uh, at depth. And it's the best if you dive between 15 and 30 meters. So you saw 
of 15 meters is 96 minutes, probably majority of the divers will not reach that. If you dive Nitrox 36, will be over 400 minutes. Again, majority of divers will never be able to reach that number with a single tank. Uh, but if you go 30 meters, you can only stay there for about 17 minutes, while in Nitrox 36 will be almost 40 minutes. So it's 37, if I recall properly. So it's where you can get the maximum of that dive. But because just because you can go doesn't mean you should. Remember on your uh, open water, the maximum depth a recreational level can go is 40 meters. This is when you have the, the proper certifications. But when we talk about nitrox, the, we should never exceed the maximum operation depth that can change depends on the mix we are using. Nitrox 32 will have a different MOD than nitrox 36. So we need to be keeping an eye on those um, depths because more oxygen means problems are depth. And the way you think about your maximum operation depth should be more oxygen, you should be shallower. You should be more shallow. And less nitrogen, nitrox again, means less depth because nitrogen, uh, Oxygen at depth can cause drowning. It's toxic. So exceeding the OMOT can cause drowning and you can die from it. You can cause your death. So, but to understand what's the maximum we can go, we need to understand what's the partial pressure. And basically partial pressure means the amount of one component in a mixture of gas. If you think about air, we have oxygen and nitrogen. So what is the percentage of nitrogen or oxygen, one of those two components that are in the gas? For us, we are more interested in the oxygen that is actually allows us to live. So and if you think about oxygen, the maximum partial pressure we should use is 1.4. We should, as recreational level, never pass 1.4. And then this, let's bring again, air. Air is 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen. And before we go further, I put here the table that you should remember from our open water. At zero meters, we have one atmosphere, one bar. And every 10 meters, we increase one bar. So at 10 meters, we have two bars. 20 meters, three bar, 30 meters, four bar, and 40 meters, five bar. And this will allow us to calculate the partial pressure for a gas at certain depth. So if we think about the surface, we have one bar. So 21% of one will be 0 0.21, and 79% of one will be 0 0.79. So 0 0.21, plus 0.79 will be one. When we go down, the percentage will remain the same, but the numbers will change a little bit. So at 10 meters, it's not one bar anymore, it's two bar of atmosphere. In this case, 21% of two will be 0.42, and 79% of two will be 1.58. So we are, um, at 10 meters, we are breathing more of the gas because the gas compress adapt. We are still breathing at the same percentage, but we are breathing more of that gas. Two times more, three times more, and so on and so forth. And when we think about nit uh, nitrox, we are is exactly the same calculations, but the numbers will change slightly because nitrox 32, we now have 32% of oxygen instead of 21, and we have 68% of nitrogen instead of 79. The calculations remain the same, the numbers will change. So at the surface, that's one bar, 32% of one will be 0.32, 68% of one will be 
So you can see here that compared to air, we are closer to 1.4. If you go to 10 meters now, 32% of Q will be 0 0.64 and 68% of Q will be 1.36. We are getting closer than the 1.4 for oxygen. We're still far. We are just 0 0.64 compared to 1.4, but we are getting closer. As we go deeper, we are going to get closer to the oxygen and this is where the maximum operation depth will come in. So to calculate this, we have a formula. So the maximum partial pressure, 1.4, is equal my atmosphere times my partial pressure of O2. So let's see some examples here. So let's calculate the best nitrox mix we can use. So my max partial pressure remains 1.4. I want to go to 30 meters. So my atmosphere will be four bar. And what is my best nitrox mix? So I will put on the formula 1.4 equals four times partial pressure of O2 that I really don't know. It basically means I just need to convert uh, the four that's multiplying one side is going to divide on the other side. So 1.4 divided by four will be my partial pressure of 0 0.35. That basically means for 30 meters, I can use a nitrox 35. Now, let's do a different, if I go 25 meters, what is my uh, best partial pressure? Again, we put it in numbers, um, 1.4 equals 3.5 times the partial pressure. And I will reach a 0 0.4 partial pressure. That means nitrox 40 is the best uh, mix I can go. So you can see with nitrox 35, my maximum depth will be 30 meters. Nitrox 40 will be 25 because I have more gas or more O2. I need to go shallower. But now let's calculate the maximum depth I can go, for example, for nitrox 32. The calculation remains the same. My maximum partial pressure is 1.4. I don't know what is going to be my uh, atmosphere pressure. And I know that I'm going to use 32% of O2. So if you put this in the calculations in the formula, 1.4 divided by 0.32 will be the atmosphere that we need. And in this case, the atmosphere will be 4.375. So four will be between 30 and 40 meters. So in this case, will be 33.75 meters, 34 if you um, round up. So the maximum operation depth, if you use nitrox 32, will be 34 meters. You cannot go down, otherwise you're going to be drowning. If you think about nitrox 36, exactly the same we put in the calculation, and you're going to reach that the maximum I can go will be 28.8 meters or 29 meters. So if I use a nitrox 36, the maximum I can go is 29 meters. More oxygen, shallower I can go. Less nitrogen, less depth I can go. So always shallower. But Okay, how do I know that that cylinder is for air, that cylinder is nitrox? So the first thing we will see, the cylinder must be marked as nitrox or enriched air nitrox. So there is some examples here. And those stickers you can buy online. So you can have a cylinder, you can buy a cylinder and you can actually start using for nitrox. In this case, the cylinder must be O2 clean. So you need to clean the cylinder because remember, O2, there is problem with O2, fire. So we need to clean it properly to use the O2. And the cylinders will be marked as O2 clean. And before you actually use, you must analyze yourself. The diver must analyze. I'm going to a place, ask them to put, for example, nitrox 36, 
And then later on, I'm, I will be responsible for analyzing because I do not trust anyone and should not you. Have they put nitrox 36 or they just put air, for example, or they put nitrox 32? And my maximum operation depth will change depends on my mix as well as the maximum I can stay on that specific uh, depth. And it depends on the mix, you need specific equipment. Um, at the recreational level, most uh, new uh, regulators um, and uh, um, they actually come red red for 40%. If you go over 40%, you need to have a specific equipment. But check with the manufacturer if you actually can use the regulators you have for the mix you're going to use. The, the manual should actually tell you. But the question is, who can dive nitrox? Well, in this case, it's only certified nitrox divers. I can, if you are not certified nitrox, you need to get certified. If you want to get certified, you are in London, in the UK. You can, uh, my details are, are below this video, so you can just click there and contact me. We can do this, this course for you. And in the course, we go a lot deeper for just those uh, five, 10 minutes. I'm trying to explain what nitrox is. There is a lot more you need to understand before you actually can dive nitrox. And if you do the course with me, of course, we analyze, we do everything that we just saw here and we go for a dive. So you know exactly what expected. And not just those, we have your dive computer. So you need to change your dive computer for nitrox as well. So hopefully this video helped you to understand what is nitrox, who can dive nitrox. Any questions, leave in the, the comments below. And of course, if you like the video, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you on the next few videos.